The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia covers approximately an area of 2,149,690 square kilometers, home of 30.77 million people. It covers the predominant 80% area of the Arabian region, which makes it the largest country of the Gulf region. It has shared borders with Qatar, United Arab Emirates and Bahrain in east, with Iraq, Kuwait and Jordan in the north, with Sultanate of Oman and Yemen in south, and has 1750 km Red Sea shoreline in west. The environmental conditions are not favorable for farming due to harsh and extreme temperature. Many agricultural programs were started at different times to ensure food security and rural development. Introduction of recent agricultural expertise, farmer responsive plans, feasible credit scheme, free land distribution and effective extension programs improved the yield of cereals, fruits, vegetables and animal related products. These effective programs not only enabled the kingdom to fulfill the domestic needs, but made it capable to export the surplus. By giving due consideration to existing water resources the kingdom decided rollback policy because production through unjust use of non-renewable natural resources was not a feasible practice. Hence, the impact of the agricultural sector on gross domestic production decreased over the period from 5.2% to 4.7%, and its contribution to the non-oil economy from 7.6% to 6.2%, while the volume of production remained stable, due to the improvement in productivity, the rate of which averaged 5% per annum over the period. Agriculture is the base on which the economic strength of a country relies. If the agricultural practices are not enough to become self-sufficient in food production, the strength of the country will be at risk. Therefore, self-sufficiency in food production could only be gained by addressing the agricultural problems and keeping the farmers aware of modern agricultural technologies, necessary for improving productivity, by the effective use of extension services. Agricultural extension is considered as a service to spread, extend information based on research, to the rural people to develop their living standard. One of the main challenges is water scarcity in Arabia. In order to overcome water scarcity, substantial investments have been undertaken in seawater desalination, water distribution, sewerage and wastewater treatment. Today about 50% of drinking water comes from desalination, 40% from the mining of non-renewable groundwater and only 10% from surface water in the mountainous southwest of the country. The capital Riyadh, located in the heart of the country, is supplied with desalinated water pumped from the Persian Gulf over a distance of 467 kilometers. Water is provided almost for free to residential users. Despite improvements, service quality remains poor, for example in terms of continuity of supply. Another challenge is weak institutional capacity and governance, reflecting general characteristics of the public sector in Saudi Arabia. Among the achievements is a significant increase in desalination, and in access to water, the expansion of wastewater treatment, as well as the use of treated effluent for the irrigation of urban green spaces, and for agriculture. An agritech startup is aiming to solve the growing issue of Middle Eastern food security with a technology-driven solution for growing crops using saltwater. The startup, Red Sea Farms, is a spin-out from Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, and has developed a solution that combines plant science and engineering that enables crops to be grown using a high percentage of saltwater. Red Sea is also working on a technology that can block infrared light to prevent heating in the greenhouses. To prove their system works, Red Sea also went into the farming business, growing 15 types of produce in its greenhouses, including cherries and snap tomatoes. The tomatoes can even tolerate being watered partly with saltwater this represents a significant benefit for the region, as while freshwater is generally essential to agriculture, it is extremely scarce naturally and expensive to produce artificially. The Middle East is one of the most water-scarce regions of the world. Desalinated water requires large amounts of energy to produce which is costly, at least $1 for every cubic meter and has a high environmental impact. The technology takes the form of a suite of solutions to grow crops using saltwater, which can be integrated into new projects or retrofitted to existing ones. This includes a custom greenhouse that sees between 80-90% of freshwater used for cooling substituted with seawater. The project also uses tomatoes that have been developed to have a far higher than average tolerance to salinity, allowing them to be grown using 30% diluted saltwater.
This also has nutritional benefits, as the tomatoes contain higher levels of vitamins and antioxidants than the norm, making them sweeter. 